Hi guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well today. I'm at the thrift store. I'm very excited because I have not gotten to film really like at all this whole week because it's been so ugly and dark out and I've been waiting for like my office to get better lighting so I can film like an outfits video or something and it just never happened. And so you know what? I'm finally like, you know what? I just want to go thrifting, so why not just film it as well? Hopefully you're okay with this this week. I figured I'm going to be thrifting some of my like Pinterest saves and my Instagram saves. Honestly, lately I've been saving more things, I feel like, on Instagram or like screenshotting because that's just, I don't know, normally I'm on Pinterest more, but I feel like Instagram has been where I've been finding a lot of inspiration lately. I don't know. So, um, there are a few things that I'm like actually looking for. I'm just going to continue to look for until I find them basically, but you may have heard these things, but here they are again in case not. Um, okay. So like this color of green, I love it. I love anything green. You guys know that, but especially like this, I don't know. It's like a, it's like a juicy green, juicy green, apple green. Okay. I know I have too many trench coats, but I'm throwing that aside for a second because I'm still on the hunt for like the perfect one but I really am looking for a plaid trench coat um or just like any type of plaid coat in general I really love the you know pattern of plaid but I think like in a trench coat like this I love this look so so much okay so another thing is I don't wear dresses a lot but I'm really wanting like a loose ruffly looking dress that kind of just goes all the way down to the floor or like to my ankles at least has like a ruffle or like just a very big silhouette we're kind of just like voluminous or something so whether it be black or white i would prefer it to be one of those colors but i'll take what i can get you know um, here's another trench coat i really liked this color of trench coat i realized i don't really have like i have like one I thrifted them in the middle of winter and so I haven't really gotten to play around with them like the, this of like a tan color trench coat. This outfit, I just love this outfit. I love the bag that they're wearing and then also the pants, the pant color. I do have a pair of pants in this color but I'm looking for like anything in this color. This color it has my heart so I've been loving blue lately as far as like my wardrobe goes. Another thing is like a white sweater like super oversized white or cream sweater ivory whatever. Overalls I would love to find a like well-fitting pair of overalls. Cardigans. I'm so into cardigans I feel like they're very underrated maybe not because they're a staple or a basic but I feel like they're very underrated. I love them every time I wear them and I have one and it's missing a button and I don't want to replace the buttons because I like the buttons on them but I'm gonna have to replace the buttons because I can't have like not a missing button so anyway i'm looking for like a cardigan gray like a neutral colored cardigan i mean i would go for like a fun colored cardigan too i guess all kinds of denim i'm really on the hunt for like levi's or just like vintage jeans that are relaxed fit like not super tight i always i feel like i'm constantly finding these jeans that are perfect but they're like more so skinny jeans that they look like on me um you guys actually have helped me so much with this and searching for like levi's and ebay i've ordered like three or four pairs at this point and i'm on tiktok all the time trying them on and you guys have informed me to look for the 550s 560s and 505s i think 501s i guess are a little bit less high-waisted i want to say are a little bit tighter fitting and i guess those other styles are a little bit more relaxed fit and higher waisted which is exactly what i'm looking for so like this again this whole look i love so much and then this orange color i love this orange color right now as well just like pops of color here and there i think that's the last one i have and then i do have i'll just scroll through my like pinterest because i'm just going for like my vibe that's on my pinterest if you can see it excited i'm really excited about spring fashion this year i feel like every year but especially this year i say that every year though anyway quickly before we head in if you're not subscribed already make sure you do so down below and let's go inside um i have my bag i brought like a big tote bag today i actually remembered to and i have my big coffee these cups are so good from amazon they're like big mason jars i actually like we went and got a coffee from sweetwaters but then i put it in here because i just like these cups oh they're like for boba though because they have like the big boba straw Okay, just got in and I saw this hanging on one of like the go back racks. I think it's like a nightgown. Yeah, that's the word. And it's really cute. As you can see, I love it. Um, and it goes to the floor, I'm pretty sure. Totally reminds me of something on my Pinterest. I'm gonna hold on to it. I just don't know how often I would wear it, but I feel like it could be really nice for like the spring and summer. We're gonna see. I'm gonna hold on to it. I feel like I'm always showing you guys like the plissé pants um, or the plissé trend. These aren't necessarily, they're just like a like very thinly ribbed material. 
but they're like that same look if you're looking for like a pair of flowy pants i always see them here and i feel like these are really nice they don't have a size in them anyway they have a nice like little wide leg fit i think they're pretty on point for that like trend okay you guys know how i've been obsessed with camo lately look what i just found they're like camo cargos they're like straight leg this thing it said relaxed fit they're by wrangler yeah wrangler relaxed fit six bucks for a size 36 which i think is a little bit too small for me i believe that's a men's size i don't know i don't know but they're cute nonetheless i really like them i've saved probably like so many outfits on instagram with these and, and on pinterest um i just love this style just like super casual and simple but i'm gonna hold on to them and see because i don't know i they also are like fleece lined which i love obviously because they live in michigan it's freezing love that okay i'm gonna hold on to them I kind of love this, love the color, super lightweight. The style is really nice as well. I just don't know how often I would wear it. They do like it. Oh, look at the back, okay. It's nice and simple. I like your simple pieces. Okay, this color again, I'm telling you guys, I mean, I like all of this color, but this color specifically speaks to me. If this was like a better fabric, I would probably pick it up, but it's a little bit too thin. That's cute. Love that. Not too many blue pieces. I also really like this color though right now. It's kind of like more turquoisey blue. Yeah. Nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. The music is so loud right now, but look at these. They're like this wool trouser, but they're like a cargo. I mean, it's not that there. I feel like those are super cute with like a white t-shirt some sneakers or something it's like super basic i like them i have to get away from this music it's so loud it's because there's the the speaker totally reminds me of something from like song of style or evolve like a little set if it had matching pants cute You guys, does this not remind you of something that I would see on uh, Pinterest or like see New York or the Great or something? Like a brand like that. It almost looks like it would be quilted, but it's not really. It's just very beautiful. A little too small, but gorgeous. Also love this color and the detailing. So pretty. Little ruffles, cute. I love that. I love anything red and white polka dots for some reason. Well, anything polka dot, I guess, really. Why is it so cute to me? I don't know why it is. It's like, you know, me and you, besties, super cute. I feel like this tank section is really doing well today with all these colors. I love them all, actually. The purple, I just like it. I don't know, I like it. This color too, but I did find one specifically, this color. It's like a really nice, it's like, it's a bright green, but at the same time, it's like more of an earthy bright green. Kind of reminds me of a Zoe Kravitz tank top that she would wear if you guys watched my, you know, how to dress like her video. Um, but I really have been looking for like tank tops that color. I did just buy like a blue one too. So I like that, like for under things, like even under this, I feel like it's really cute. Or in the summertime, just like jeans or shorts or anything. Super easy. Um, okay, I found the jeans here. I believe they're the plus size jeans. I found like a pair, I'm trying to be really picky, and so it's like I see these, these are Levi's, I believe they're, yeah, 550s, you can see that, but they're not like the right, you know, I don't like that. I guess from what I've gathered, is like every single year of Levi's or release of Levi's is super different, even if they're the same style, like a 1999 style is super different than like 97 um, or whatever. I'm trying to find like the right pair, and I feel like, especially in person, it's a lot easier because you can see, you know, the shape of them and the size of them. Um, so 
I'm gonna look over here first because I would prefer women's, you know, they feel like they're made for more so curvier bodies or whatever rather than men's, you know, that they're just like straight cut or straight fit. So I'm gonna peek through here. Wait, these are cute. It's like these, they're not jeans, but they're just like pants. I like them. Just found this pair. They're not Levi's, they're by like Chic. You can see that. Um, and I think they're gonna be really nice. I love white or cream or ivory pants and jeans specifically, denim. Um, I would wear them every single day if I could. For some reason, I feel like they go with everything um, and I haven't been able to like find a good pair of like straight legged, uh, you know, cream denim or light denim. So, let me see. Okay. These look nice, they're Lee. See, I was on the hunt for, supposed to be looking for Levi's, but those look nice too. They're by Lee, like I said. Straight leg. I might just hold on to them. I wish I could try them on, but I like the wash of them as well. Hmm. Okay, another camel find. I'm in the men's section now over here. It's like this huge section. So we're starting over in the jackets. If you're looking for like this kind of camo, thrift stores, definitely. Oh, glamping. <laughs> hey, that is gorgeous. Look at like the braided or uh, threaded detail. I don't know what that's called. Really pretty color though. I love that. Okay, I did also find one pair of 550s in the men's section. I'm gonna hold on to those, we're gonna see. Okay, now this trench coat. This feels so nice, you guys, especially for $14. London Fog, I always think they are really nice when I find them, um, but the inner lining is gorgeous. I just don't know about the size. I'm gonna try it on, I think. I think I'd prefer it a little bit more oversized, a little larger, um, size 12 actually. So, but it is really nice and like structured and like exactly what I'm looking for with the details, you know? I like that. Can't tell. I want this or not. I really like the chocolate leather. So these are like blocked by this. Also, look at this jacket, you guys. It's like a, it almost looks like a blazer. I feel like this is calling my name, maybe screaming it, screeching, screeching my name. I love this, I'm gonna try it on. Okay, I put my other jacket on under it, but I feel like I need this. It totally reminds me of one of those Frankie Shop jackets, like super oversized with the, what is it called? Double, no, it's not double rusted. Like, you know, this collar. If I were a skier or a snowboarder, how cool is this? I would freaking love this. Ugh, not though. But for $9, that's a great find. So cute. Okay, how cute is this little vest? I love the color. So cute. Also, you guys, I gasped. I've been looking for something with just like a tie detail like this. I feel like this is so cute and unique. Obviously, I love the color. One of my favorites. Yeah. Something I personally think is like a wardrobe staple are like these athletic pants. Um, especially these Adidas ones. I would get these, but... Um, I have a pair that I want that are like wide leg and high waisted and I already have like something similar to these but super great thrift store finds I think they're always at the thrift store in like the you know sporty looking section and I just love them they come in like these fun colors too I just think they're so cute um, especially for spring just again with t-shirt a tank top a crew neck um, dress it up dress it down but I mostly dress them down even just like these plain black ones with sneakers, oh, I love them. I don't know, something about them. Another one, especially if you live close near the country, like I do, they're all over. It's literally all over. See, love that color. Not the piece, but I like the color a lot. How adorable, adorable is this? With a pair of like high-waisted white shorts, or, you know, like thigh-high shorts or thigh-high thigh shorts, that's not the word, you know what I'm saying, like Bermuda length. So cute. Huh. I don't think I need that though. 
skim stoop. This feels so cozy. I'm gonna definitely skim stoop. Now I'm looking for a cardigan over here. Like I like this, but I'm looking for, you know, just your basic cardigan that would look like that. That would be perfect. Like that. Actually, literally like this. So for I think that's, yeah, that's a medium. I want it to be a little bit oversized. Um, cute too, but not exactly what I'm looking for. Something, something like that. Okay, okay. I feel like this is really trending in my opinion, or could be. I feel like it would be super cute, like with a bathing suit top under it. You know, for spring, summer. Cute. Or like a festival outfit. Love that color, like I've been saying constantly. <laughs> I love those. That, oh my God, it's so loud. That too. How cute. I don't know. I'm obsessed with anything that looks like that still. I think I might forever. What kind of bag I'm actually looking for? I know I can thrift one or like find one on eBay or something, but I, I'm thinking thrift store. Um, those LL Bean totes. I keep seeing them everywhere. And I'm like, you know, it's just a basic tote and I don't want... I, I'm like, I don't know if I want to spend $50 to get a brand new one. So if I can just find one here at the thrift store, because they've been around, they've been a thing forever. I used to have one whenever I was younger. I believe it was my mom's or something. And um, so I'm looking for one like that. I'd put like a picture here, hopefully. Uh, but I keep seeing them. There are similar totes like that, but I found an LL Bean one that I really like. And you can like customize it and everything with really little, like little embroidery on it. But faith that one day there's going to be one on this here rack, this specific rack. Also, I'm still obsessed with anything that has these big things on it. There was that one um, skirt. I have it like saved all over my Pinterest. I want to say it's Paula something. I can't remember the designer, but it's super cute. It kind of reminds me of it. And I kind of like this. Is that? Okay. Okay, picture this. On the beach. I don't know. What do you guys think? Feel free to roast me if you hate it but I kind of like it. I'm gonna hold on to it. How much? Let's see, that's the deciding factor. Six dollars, okay, let's see, we'll see. It's the next day and I feel like I have like a thrift hangover or like, what did they call it? Hangxiety. Um, <laughs> like I just brought my two big bags in from the car and I'm looking at them and I'm just like, you dumb. Exactly why I only thrift a couple of times a month because I can't handle it. I have no self-control, none at all. And I'm honest about that at least, thank God. Anyway, I am excited about what I got. I can't, I can't really remember everything, but I am excited for things. I did grab um, a couple of home things. So this clock mirror thing, and I think it's so pretty. Um, I just really, really like how it looks and it was eight dollars but it, i think it was half off i want to say it was only four dollars because i think tan tags were half off and i think i'm going to put it somewhere in my office um because i have a lot of like wood going on and i feel like that could be cute i really liked it it reminded me of like um kind of i was super into like that scandy home style uh is that what you would call it a couple of years ago i think like I want to say a year or two ago and it kind of reminds me of something like that that I saved on my Pinterest a long time ago and an element that I still really like so there's that I also picked up the lampshade I don't know if I got a video of it there's this lampshade it was 12 print it's beautiful I'm so excited you guys know this is my favorite print ever um, I've been looking for a lampshade like this to go on top of I have like this blue fish lamp that I thrifted a long time ago and it didn't come with a lampshade I've been looking for the perfect one and I was like you know what all of these other ones are just so boring with it. It's such a fun, funky lamp. And so I'm really excited that I have the tall one. Um, a lot of you guys probably don't think they go together. I don't, I'm not sure that they go together, but I like the way they look together. I just think it's super cute and fun. I love having little quirky, weird elements scattered throughout my house as you guys probably noticed, but I'm really excited about that. I think it looks so freaking cute. And I have it right now in our den downstairs and I'm gonna kind of like try to style it up. I don't know, but then, like I said, I have two big bags of clothes. However, I do have one more accessory thing. Oh, I just showed it to you guys. 
This, I put a poll on my Instagram story. You guys wrecked me there. I, I mean, you guys didn't wreck me. You guys weren't mean or anything. I put like juicy or not juicy. Put a poll on my Instagram story and you guys shocked me. I don't know why I thought a lot of you guys were gonna like this a little bit more than you did. I still don't know if I like love it, but I kind of just wanted to grab it to play around with for the summer and springtime. And it's this bag right here. Like I said, I know obviously a lot of you guys hated it. Like I'm telling you, I think the poll was 80-20. That is my most controversial poll ever and I don't know I get it I do get it really I have this one skirt by Paco Rabanne I want to say Robane Robanne on my Pinterest and I just love the way the skirt looks and it has like this exact kind of look to it with these little big I don't know what these are called big sequins and I understand this definitely looks like a purse that I had whenever I was like 10 or something but for some reason I couldn't not grab it thinking of styling it like super basic outfit wise I'm talking like white tank white t-shirt blue jeans um, and like flats and that's it. Just like super chill and have this be the centerpiece. We're gonna see. Also, I just really liked it for like a beach bag, you know, going on, like going to the beach, on the boat, whatever. I think I'm just gonna go through and try these things on and then show you them. Okay, so I'm out for the first half of the try on. My camera was in manual focus and everything was out of focus. So I'm going to retry on a few things, which is why I look different. Even though it's only been about an hour, this is how quick I degrade. Okay, first we have this jacket, which I actually really like with this outfit, um, but this coat, it's a really, really nice wool fabric. This is how the collar looks. I think it looks so nice. Um, I think it looks very expensive. I like the way it fits. It really reminds me of a Frankie shop coat. And I'm really excited to wear this for like years to come. I know it's the end of the season, but honestly, that's kind of like when I buy most of my jackets a lot of the time or like end of the season sales or at the thrift store. That's when they have a lot of them because no one else is looking for them. So that's what I do a lot of the time. But I mean, next is this like bubblegum pink Sherpa-y like fleece uh, quarter zip. Personally love pullovers like this. They're one of my top worn items in my closet. I wear them to take the dogs out, to go on walks, um, to go on hikes, that kind of thing. They're just great for honestly for like most of the seasons besides summer. I love them. Um, this is how this one looks. This one I want to say it was like four dollars which I love. It reminded me of like a Patagonia one and I've been pinning like the effortless girl wearing like this or like um, you guys have seen my vest before like these. For so long. I love that look of just like standing there like with a tote bag. You know that vibe. Is it not tucked? I don't think it has pockets, but that's okay. Here's it fully zipped. Love it. <laughs> you guys, these jeans might be the ones. Like I've been waiting for a fit like this. They are, they have a little bit of gaping, but I feel like no matter what I do, whenever I go into the men's section especially, and I find a pair that fits like my legs really nicely and like has a nice rise, there's always going to be gaping. So I've come to the decision that I'm just going to get them tailored when that happens because otherwise these are perfect jeans. Perfect. Um, and then this top. I mean, I don't think I even need to say anything about this top. It's seriously so perfect. I'm just so happy. Like the little tie here. Um, I don't know if this is exactly how it's styled. I kind of just threw what I had in this room together. Um, so that means just my Orson Iris tank top and then these jeans that I wanted to show you, but um, either way, I love it. I love the color, like I said. I love that it has like this suede detailing there. I just think it's cute, or like darling. I guess that's like the word I would use to describe how I feel about it. It's very darling to me. And I love it, I'm so excited to wear it. This is what it looks like from the back as well. Super into it, I love it, I'm very excited. Um, next I have these pants. Okay, so in the original clip where I tried these pants on, they were not altered. I since have altered them. Um, actually, I would like mentioned it after that. Um, I tried them on. They felt like skinny jeans to me. I'll try them on again and show you. But I did end up cutting off like an inch or two at the bottom and like slit the side to try to help with it. So I'll just show you how that turned out. So like just changing back into my sweats. Okay, these are the pants. Um, I like them and I will wear them. However, I was hoping that they'd be a little bit looser on the bottom. Like. Uh, half of my pants like up here I don't care if it's super tight I just want like the legs to be more relaxed or straight leg you know that kind of thing um, but this is how they look there's a little slit that I did um, I really did like the color of these though um, I think they're a really nice shade of like creamy white and I feel like I could dress them I don't know just super simple under like a trench coat I think would be super cute something like that I don't know I still like them again wasn't what I was expecting but that's what we get for no fitting rooms, am I right? Okay, didn't thrift this jacket. This was an eBay find I showed you guys a while ago. But this tank top, up I'm censoring. Um, 
I love this color so much. I think it's so nice. And these jeans are by Lee. I think they're pretty good. I don't know. Um, they were five dollars. Five dollars for a pair of jeans. Um, they're like straight leg or like kind of flared a little bit, um, which I love. So very excited about that. And then I think I have just two more things. And yeah. Okay, so this dress, I wanted to show you guys how I was kind of thinking of styling it. I mean, not necessarily like this with the turtleneck, but like t-shirts on under it, sweater on over it, like a little cardigan over it. I don't know, like the color I think is pretty too. I don't normally gravitate towards this color, but um, I figured I can always dye it darker if I wanted to as well. But like I said, I like this color. I don't have anything like this color. This is literally exactly what I was looking for. I can even like layer things on top of it. Let me, let me see. What I'm saying, do you know what I'm saying? Like it could be like a skirt, hold on. I'm literally just grabbing whatever I have in this room, um, but do you get what I'm saying? Like, I can layer it, I can do whatever I want with this thing, and it acts as a maxi skirt, and I think it's so cute, so I'm really, really excited for this. I also found two hats. I love hats. I always come home with hats from the thrift store. It's kind of bad, but like this one, it's like a beret, but also like a grandpa hat at the same time, which is so up my alley. I think it's so cute. Let me try them on. I mean, I love it. I love grandpa hats or dad hats, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then also, also this New Mexico one. I just really liked the colors in it and like the style of it. So I need a couple notches, but in the summertime, trucker hats are my favorite. I wear hats like almost every day, um, but especially in the summertime, trucker ones. But anyway, that's my haul. Uh, thank you so much for thrifting with me and hanging out with me. I had so much fun. I'm so glad that I went because I, I found some good things that I'm really excited to have in my wardrobe for spring. And I feel like a lot of these things really nailed in my Pinterest, like, but... Uh, I feel like a lot of these things are very much so inspired by my Pinterest board, at least, um, and my Instagram saves, like I said. I'm really excited. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.